My name is Martha Wilson. I came out singing a song that this band would sing when we came out to our performances called Dow. At this time, the Nova Scotia College of Art and Design was bringing in visiting the conceptual artists of the day. I found out that visual art could be made out of language. I started making art and then I asked my mentor to be an artist. He said, women don't make it in the art world, but if you're serious you'll make black and white art. And I got mad, walked across the street to the drugstore, bought a roll of color film and started doing these performances where I was dressing as a man trying to look like a woman or dressing as a 50-year-old woman trying to look like she is 25. In Halifax, the women were competitive with each other. My boyfriend dumped me and I thought, okay, fine, I'm gonna to move to New York and find out if I really am an artist. So I moved to New York fully expecting it to be a hostile environment, but it was totally supportive. They were taking charge of their segregation from the mainstream art world. They were saying, okay, fine, we're gonna make it up. We're gonna make an art world for ourselves. You don't have to talk about the movies you see, about the dance you do. I don't need a clue because it's all in your fashions. Laurie Anderson famously said, the same 300 people went to everything. We were looking at each other's work. So it was a very tight scene. And that's how I met all these other crazy women. I called my friends who did not know how to play any instruments, and we formed the all-girl punk band of women artists who can't play any instruments disband. 